Hello. Today we're going to be talking about something that everyone in this room is involved with. And it's tough. It's really tough. Brad, tell me that story about the guy that was on the, on the bridge and the rope. Oh, I like that story. That tell was me. quite a story. Yeah, we're talking about in the book of um, Galatians. I think in the bulletin it's uh, Galatians 8, right? Yeah, that's a little uh, different than the let one me, in the Let Bible. me look at that bulletin again. But Does anybody know where to turn to in Galatians 8 for me? I thought there was only six chapters in Galatians. There was, but we wrote another one. We did. And another okay. one, yeah. Well, I just want to be clear on that because I was studying you know, up on that. People always add to the Bible. You they know? do. That, that was and an that's addendum. Sad. But, but tell us that story. I, I like that story. Well, we were, we were talking about burdens. Right. And I know you have yours, and I have a few. And I was reading a story about this, this guy, and he was hanging off a bridge on a rope. And a guy named Dennis ran over there and reached down there and tried to help this guy. We'll call him uh, Mike. And uh, he was hanging off that rope off the bridge. And Dennis is down there, and he's holding on the rope. and said, Mike, I need you to climb up. And Michael said, well, you know, Galatians 6.2 says. Galatians 6 2 says, Bear you one of his burdens. So, you know, he was just quoting the Bible. You know, Michael's yeah. a good guy and he's quoting the Bible. And so Dennis is holding on for life. And, you know, Michael's, you know, he weighs more than 20 pounds. And so he's holding on to that rope really good. And um, he says, Now, Michael, you need to climb up the rope. I'm going to hold the rope, but you need to climb up. And he says, Well, no, no. Mike says, No, you need to bear one another burden. And this, and now, listen, Mike, I can only hold on to this rope so much longer. And that's it. So he said, I'm going to hold on for 15 seconds. That's it. After that, if you don't climb up the rope, you're on your own. And so Dennis is holding on the rope. 15, 14, 13, 3, 2, 1. Th let's go the rope. Walks away. A couple weeks later, Dennis comes back by the bridge. There's Mike still hanging on that rope. <laughs> so I think that sometimes, maybe a little later in that verse, they talk about that we're supposed to do something. We're supposed to have some action. Right. It says, uh, bear ye one of his burden, thereby fulfill the law of Christ. The law. It's a law that we bear each other's burdens. And then it says something else that I don't like. It said, for each man must also bear his own burden. Right. Whoa. I thought I could get by with everybody else bearing my burden, but... There are times when I can't even explain to somebody else what my burden is. I, I, I didn't know what's going on until it's too late. And then I realize that I'm overburdened. But I have to learn how to gain strength from Christ so I can bear that burden. Realizing, as Jan's saying, you know, take up thy cross. Not the Lord's cross. I, I love this cross up here. It has all those different colors. It, it reminds me of all the temptations that Jesus went through. And all the burdens he bore. So what you're saying basically is that we all have our own set of burdens that we carry. We all have our own. I mean, just not yeah. everybody's got the same. You know, I, I try to find blame for all the things that I am. It's my mama's fault. Don't ask her, though. Okay. Uh, no, it's really my sister's fault. She can be a real pest. She, yeah, yeah, she's a handful, I'll tell you. Uh, no. It could be a lot of people's fault, but my cross is Dave Hayes. A lot of fixing we need to do. Uh, yeah, and I have to carry that cross because I respond to things differently than I should. Many times I take offense when I should be more gracious and say, wow, you're right. I need to work on that. But when my brothers try to help me. I have a suggestion for you. What about, and I know this is kind of hard, though, what about if we just wrote them down? That's a great idea. You know, I think everybody has a piece of paper. Will you, will you write down your three 
heaviest burdens. Don't sign them. Just write your three heaviest burdens, and we'll pick them up and just, that's a good idea. I think it is, because if, if, sometimes we need to identify the problem. Um, I manage a number of people on my Monday through Friday gig, and sometimes just getting down to the bottom line is, what is the problem? What is the root cause? And sometimes it's just going through a little process of writing it down, well, this, or well, that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if we can put it down on a piece of paper, maybe. I think that would be a good thing. To, everybody just, uh, if you don't have a pen, borrow one and write down your three heaviest burdens. Everybody have a piece of paper? Did anybody not get one, Maureen? Al, Al you missed Maureen. Where are you, Al? He went to get some water down at Feather River. <laughs> Anyways, somewhere in the shadows, there's a pink basket. Okay, so if you don't have a slip of paper to write your three bur burdens down, we keep moving around and make sure everybody has one, okay? You know, you know, Pastor Dave, some people may need a legal sheet of paper. No, 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 no. <laughs> we don't need, we just want to talk about the three heaviest burdens. Okay, the three big ones. Okay. Yeah, because we all have more than three. Right, okay. Yeah. I just want to be clear on that because, you know, when I was reading in John. Yeah. Where was that? Uh, tenth chapter? Fifteenth chapter. There is fifteen chapters in John? Yeah, yeah. And was it around verse 10 or so? No, we're talking about a not just a law, but a commandment. Well, see, because you were talking about laws, and then there was a commandment. So what? tell me. You're a preacher. Jesus said this. I have kept my Father's law. Now, he wasn't talking about Ten Commandments. He was talking about the law of intent. Whoa. I'm going to get that booger. And you keep picking on him until you get him. Right. And it's not, you know, our intent in our relationships is what it's all about. God said, if your brother would do good to you, then that's okay. Do good back. We, that's not no big deal. But if your brother offend you, and you forgive them and do good back to them, then you've, you've accomplished the law of God. Wow. <coughs> and Jesus said... <laughs> When you do that, you put coals wait, wait, wait. of fire going, on You're going head. a little bit too fast. Yeah, yeah. So you're saying that if Michael does something that might irritate us. <laughs> lots, lots of time, yeah. <laughs> that we might have to forgive him. Well, we realize he's Mike, okay? Right. And, and we love him because we are to love one another. Jesus ended that by saying, love one another in the manner that I loved you. He didn't have many reasons to love his disciples. They were takers. They weren't givers. And they were just, they get angry with each other and they fought and they, they argued and they did all kinds of stuff. But Jesus forgave them. Love one another with, in the manner that I love you. If you do, my joy will remain in you and your joy will be full. And he could read their minds, what do you mean love? He said, love is when you help somebody else when it may even hurt you. It's so hard, though. I mean, when people do things like that, it's, just, it's so hard to just, okay, forgive. I mean, it's really hard. It is really hard. You know, it goes back to the original couple in the garden. Yeah. By the way, I was, I was watching History Channel. And they're talking all about how God created the heavens and the earth. It's so beautiful to hear <laughs> they him got say, it right, finally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all the stuff they brought up, and they said, there's no other explanation except for a creator. And I thought, wow. That's, that's amazing. That was amazing. But the first couple, if you're carefully reading the Bible, in the first chapter, if you read it in Hebrew, it says, let us make mankind in our image and after our likeness. Now, making our, you know, we can't do that by ourselves. We, we need somebody to walk alongside of us. And we can't just say, okay, Jesus is all yours. But when another person has a burden, we need to help them with that burden. 
and be careful that we don't get in trouble too. You know, <laughs> you know it reminds me of that song that, uh, that Michael and um, Smitty sing, you know, I can't even walk. Oh, I love that without song. Without you holding, holding my, my hand. hand yeah. yeah. I wish you hadn't brought that up. That haunts me all the time. It does. <laughs> I get up in the morning, and there it is. Smitty did it to me again. He got yeah, Smitty. Yeah. Smitty yeah. did it. Anyways, it, then, then we have Adam and Eve. Now, Eve was not made out of the dust of the earth. She was made out of, oh, yeah, that out of the rib. Popped one out of there, yep. And, uh, and Adam said, now this is it. Whatever happened before, it's in the past. This one is bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. In other words, they were joined together as a couple. So this wasn't Adam's idea to do the and No, no. He was, he was doing okay, and he thought. Right. But he needs some help in life. And I interested in finding this. We need to find a help meet, M-E-E-T, not M-A-T-E. Now, M-A-T-E is a nice word, but M-E-E-T implies something totally different. You know, there's something about that in the book of uh, Matthew. Yes. Um, it's about a yoke. Oh, yeah. And um, how we meet, how we meet Jesus, or yeah. how we meet our brethren that may be yeah. so critical. Yeah, we help them meet their potential. That means overcoming their burdens. But they know that somebody's there for them. Yes. They can talk to, they can share with. And that's what the brotherhood is all about. Brad, why don't you go through and pick up all those uh, burdens that people have. If you pass them to the aisle, please. He is always there, hearing every prayer, faithful and true. Walking by our side, in his love we hide all the day through. When you get discouraged, just remember what to do. Reach out to Jesus, he's reaching out to you. Is the life you're living filled with sorrow and despair? Does the future press you with its worries and its cares? Are you tired and friendless? Have you almost lost your way? Jesus will help you. Just call on him today. He is always there, hearing every prayer, faithful and true. Walking by our side, in his love we hide all the day through. When you get discouraged, just remember what to do. Reach out to Jesus, he's reaching out to you. Reach out to Jesus, he's reaching out to you. Beautiful, ladies. What kind of burdens do you have? To re read me a couple of them. Financial. Financial burden. Workload. Workload. Uh, it must be a housewife. Yeah. Yeah. My mother has cancer. Whoa. Family problems. Wow. Being angry. I want to make sure my family's taken care of. Wow, that's a big one. Yeah. Temptations. Whoa. Money. Wow. I'm not seeing my family. Well, that's a tough one. You have all those burdens. I think that Jesus will help us if on his name you call. Come unto me, all who are weary and burdened, 
and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. I am gentle and humbled in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. I lay all of our burdens down at your feet. Because any time, I don't know what to do, I will cast all our burdens upon you. Jesus, I know that you told me that we we're brothers. And I'm so thankful for that, that now we're in this together. Will you take care of these burdens for us? I will. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Pastor Dave, I know you're still down there. I just want to know, how can I reach Jesus? He's way up there. I'm way down here. I can't even see the light. There's no light. I'm in darkness. I need help. I need more light. For some reason, I'm not getting much light. And we're... uh, the problem is, Mike, we don't know where to plug in. We don't know where to, we need somebody to help us. Oh, there it is. Yes. Wow, you guys are standing side by side. That must mean you're brothers. We are. Wow. Brothers together. And you're like brother, brother Jesus. You're here to help your younger brother. I am. Wow. But we also read in Galatians that we have to carry our own burden as well. And that you carried yours. You told a rich young man, if you uh, want to enter the kingdom of heaven, you need to take up your cross and follow me. I have a cross that's pretty rugged. It's not very good looking. But it's symbolic of who I am, a mess. And I need help of Jesus. Oh, you, you're such a heavy cross. I don't want to carry you. Yeah. I guess I must because it looks like I'm all, all screwed up there. See the screws? All screwed up. Oh, that booger's heavy. Lost balance. Oh, oh. oh, help me, Lord. Help me bear my cross. All the bad thoughts I have. All the times when I yield to temptation. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour, I need you. I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour, I need you. Oh, help me now, my my Savior. I come to you. I need you. Oh, I need thee. Every hour. Help me now, my Savior. 